if we have this function overloading in our program then these many advantages are need will going to be satisfied when we are defining any of the function as a friend function at that time for the definition of uh, that function outside the class definition we should not use the keyword called friend or even scope resolution operator when i can say this is overloaded function when we have more than one function in a same program or when we are having two or more function with the same name but that must be different in number of parameter and type of parameter that will be considered as what function overloading hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all i welcome you all back to the revision class on the chapter 8 function overloading i am rohini ts lecturer department of computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysuru so in this session we'll deal about this chapter 8 that is function overloading so if you see the marks distribution of this chapter you are going to get one question for two marks and no need to worry about the one and three mark questions and also we have a five marks one question so that one question will comes from part d that is for five marks total you are going to expect you can expect two questions from this chapter and that is totally for 7 marks so you need to study about the 2 mark question and you need to study about 5 marks question so total it will be for 7 marks of 2 questions from the chapter called function overloading we will see the first question with respect to this 2 marks question so what is the first question that we have here what is the need for function overloading? So that means what is the need in the sense you have to understand what is its advantage? What is the need of having this function overloading? What is the need that code executed is faster? Code will going to be executed faster here. It is easier to understand the flow of information and debug. So if we have this function overloading in our program, then these many advantages or need will going to be satisfied. And also this code maintenance is easy here, easier interface between the programs and real world object. These are the advantages, need or features of this function overloading. We'll see the next question, write the restrictions on overloaded function. So if I wanted to have a overloaded function in my program, then what are the restrictions? Uh, that means uh, what are the conditions are we supposed to satisfy? We'll see now. So each function in a set of overloaded function must have a different argument list. Along with that, it must be different in uh, data type of an argument also. That is one of the uh, restrictions or that is one of the condition that needs to be satisfied if you wanted to have this uh, overloaded function in your program. Then if type def is used for naming function, then the function is not considered as different types. So we can't have this type definition that is alias name we can't give. So if you are using that, that is not going to allow us in order to have this overloaded function in a program. So these are the two important uh, topics or these are the two important points with respect to this restrictions on overloaded function and this is also most frequently asked question regarding this overloaded function. So next, what is an inline function? Give an example. So what is inline function here? So when you are getting this kind of question for two marks, so you have to understand inline function is for one mark and you have written the example that will be for another one mark. So if when they are asking an example only for two marks, at that time no need to write a complete program from mash include. So you just need to write a what a chunk of that uh, program that means you need to write only the block code of that particular inline function that will be enough here so that an inline function is a special type of function whose body is inserted at the place where it is called so we are going to insert this inline function at the place where it will going to be called instead of transferring the control to the function call so calling function call function all the things will going to be takes place in a calling function itself no need to worry about the called function so what is the example then so this example is what inline keyword intercept return type cube is the name of a function and we have one argument called a of the data type integer and it is written in a into a into a that returns the cube so closing off this function. So just write the block code of this inline function if they are asking only for two marks. Next, give any two reasons when inline function may not work. So when I can't have this inline function, 
when inline function definition is too long or too complicated. So when it is too long or too complicated, we can't have this inline function anyway it is going to deal with only small number of lines of program. So when it is too complicated or too long, then we can't uh, use this inline function. Then the inline function is recursive. When the function is recursive, we can't have this inline function. The inline function has looping construct. When the inline function has a looping construct, at that time it may not work properly as per the requirement of user so that inline function has a switch or go to statement so if you have any one of these with an inline function at that time it will not going to work properly as per the requirements of the user next what is friend function write its syntax what is friend function that is for one mark and its syntax if you have written that will be for another one mark so we'll see the definition of friend function here friend function is a non member function of a class has the access permission to all the private members of the class if i wanted to access the private members of a class then i can uh, access it with the help of this non member of a class called friend function so how we are going to declare that uh, friend function what is the syntax here class keyword and name of a class under the scope of public use a keyword called friend and write the return type function name and if you wanted to have any function uh, arguments you can have it within the parenthesis at last uh, don't forget to close the class so within the class we are going to create this so we are going to use the semicolon at the end of a class in order to end the scope of this class so it is also member function right but it is a non member function so it will going to be preceded by a keyword called friend here question number 2 briefly explain the characteristics of friend function so you need to write the characteristics of friend function here so it is not a member function of a class but it has a full access permission to the private or protected members of a class then it can be declared either in a public or private part of a class where we can declare either in a public or a private of a class then the friend function cannot be called using the object of that class then it going to be invoked like any other normal function and what is the next feature so it cannot access the data member variable directly and it has to use so in order to use that it has to follow some syntax what is that we have to give an object name and dot in order to access that member name that means it can be either data member or a member function which is of private and protected then the function declared with a keyword friend so we are going to use a keyword friend but while defining the friend function it does not use either keyword friend or scope resolution operator so when we are defining any of the function as a friend function at that time for the definition of uh, that function outside the class definition we should not use a keyword called friend or even scope resolution operator so these are the features or the characteristics of this friend function we'll see the next question that is what is function overloading explain why function overloading is needed already we know the definition of function overloading right so if two or more function has the same name but differs in number of arguments and type of arguments that will be considered as function overloading what are its needs so that means uh, it's uh, advantages of having the function overloading code maintenance is easy and easier to understand the flow of information or instruction easy the, uh, it will be easy for debugging and easy interface between the program objects as well as the real world object and uh, code execution will be faster and this function overloading will be used for code reusability as well as the it will going to save the memory so it is easy to understand the flow of information maintenance is easy and easier interface code execution is faster and it will going to save the memory as well as reusability can be takes place with the help of this function overloading we'll see the next question now it is also related to what characteristics of friend function already we have discussed so that you can consider this as a very important question and most frequently asked question we'll see the question number five what is an inline function write a simple program for it so what is an inline function will be for one marks and if you have written a program you are going to get another four marks what is the definition here inline function is a special type of function whose body is inserted at a place where it is called instead of transferring the control to the function already we know the definition of this inline function and we have to use a keyword called inline in order to define this inline function so here i have taken an example which is in your uh, programming that is in your laboratory 
laboratory. So instead of square, if you have taken this as a cube, that is your laboratory program. So that uh, you need to learn that program and surely you are going to get 5 marks from this question. That is what inline function and its feature and what are the uh, possibilities where we can't uh, use this inline function along with syntax and one example, surely you are going to get 5 marks. So if you study this program. So this is what the example that I have taken in order to find a square of a given number. We will see the next question. When is function overloading is needed, write any two advantages and restrictions on overloaded function. Already we got to know regarding its advantages and its restriction. Even we know the definition of function overloading. Understand dear student, this will be for 1 marks, advantages will be for 2 marks and restriction will be 2 marks. Totally it will be for 5 marks. Write the definition of a function overloading and write its advantages. All the 5 points you need to write and if you have written its uh, restrictions or when we can't use this uh, function overloading or if I wanted to use a function overloading, what are the rules and regulation I am supposed to follow? If you have written that much, then it will going to help you out in order to get 5 marks so that you can understand directly from this chapter only 3 concepts that you are supposed to learn. One is uh, function overloading. What do you mean by function overloading and its definition and what is the advantages of function overloading and what are the restrictions of this function overloading and then you need to study about the inline function as well as the friend function. These three are the only topics from this chapter. So if you study this much, so you are going to get complete marks from this chapter without missing anything. So in the inline function definition features when it is not possible to use the inline function along with the syntax and example study that inline. And when it comes to the friend function, its definition, features, along with the syntax and example, study this friend function. Then in a function overloading, learn the definition and learn its advantages or needs and its restriction. So this is the only thing you have to concentrate from this chapter called function overloading. So now we'll see the 5 marks question. What is the first question that we have here? Write an example program for function overloading. Already we know what you mean by function overloading. So in order to illustrate that you can write any program. So here I have taken the example program. So here you can see that we have included a, a header files and we have a, a class called fun overload. That is the name of a class here. And under the scope of public, we have a function called volume. So when I can say this is overloaded function, when we have more than one function in a same program or when we are having two or more function with a same name, but that must be different in number of parameter and type of parameter. That will be considered as what? Function overloading. Here also we have a volume. That is, I am going to consider this as a function one. It has only one parameter that is A, which is of a data type called integer. And we have one more function called volume that is also same name as of the previous uh, function itself and it has two arguments. So which is of R and H which is of the data type double that means this is different and this is different. We have one more function that is also has the same name as the previous two function. It has two arguments or parameter that is R and H and it is of the data type double and in. So here you can see that we have three member functions or we have three functions functions all these has the same name but different with number of arguments and type of parameters or arguments then we can say this this is overloaded or function is overloaded and also we have one more function with the same name but the number of arguments are different than those three so that is what we have l b h as a variables of a data type double so these are the parameters or argument of a member function called volume. So all these four uh, member functions are going to be overloaded in a program because it has a, a same name but differs in number of arguments and type of arguments. And then uh, in the main function we are going to create an object for a class and we are going to call a function. So if the number of arguments and data type is going to be matched with any of this member function that will going to be called or that will going to be invoked. This is how we are going to deal with a function overloading program. It's all about today's session. I hope you all understood. Let me meet you in the next session with a further revision. Until that, keep learning, keep on growing. Thank you.